I am your instructor today, and my name is Gusto Artivita. History tells of young men who performed impressive deeds of battle and war efforts throughout Europe and Asian areas. Attila the Hun was 28 years old when he ravaged the countrysides. The military leader Hannibal was 26 during his major conflicts. The Macedonian king Alexander the Great was 33 years old. Napoleon was a general at age 28. Unbelievable! How was the world centuries ago? What inspired young men to go to great extents to be victorious and dominate other civilizations through violence and death? Of course, manual labor was the only means to construct cities and roads. Many working hands were needed. Political strength was probably based on the available or collected workforce. Slavery supplied the manpower to please kings and emperors of ancient Asia. Rulers were obsessed with monuments and other structures which exemplified their legacy. Ancient Egyptian structures still stand and are well known around the world. South America also has similar stone structures and artifacts very much equal to the Egyptian figures. These gigantic stone creations were built by thousands of laboring hands, not by diesel machinery or telepathy. So there is a connection or motivation for someone of unethical vision having the authority to rule by means of eliminating powerful enemies and exploiting prisoners who will become subservient as willing slaves, all to the credit of those they fear. There are compromising alternatives that null the blame related to the exploiter. Religious persuasions evolve tied directly to awesome powers of nature as an explanation mostly based on insecurity and superstition. Fear tactics by rulers and their magicians were blended with sudden climate changes or coincidental occurrences in nature to help control the population. Every storm or season has a pagan deity causing chaos on the mortal populations of earth who deserve to be punished for not being loyal. But is bondage and fear the key components for human discipline as a control mechanism? Is success based on the ability to control people against their will? The answer is no. Enslavement is not the way of God. There is no race or group above another. Not a military general or the person he conquers is above God's plan and desire for harmony among his children. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus.
So who feels they have the right to be more worthy than another in this world or beyond? The rulers of the flesh and bone are only temporary victors in a world that will end soon. O oh, you sinners of war and pestilence, whose gratification by greed and dominance from another's blood and sweat, which satisfies your shallow evil desires, will end. The guilt and shame will soon emerge and last longer than your evil rewards of infliction upon the innocent. Your influence is a lie and a conniving scheme intended against God, and you are nothing more than a foolish tool for evil. The devil will always lose in the end. There is only one true soldier of truth and victory for all eternity, and he is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Amen. I would like to thank you all for your courtesy and attention, and will see you again at the next class. Good day.